welcome to the inner workings of the Missouri Star Quilt Company. We have something really special to show you today, and it has to do with the underpinnings of the Missouri Star Quilt Company. So here we go. Today we are going to show you the secret of our ironing board. This, Sarah just doesn't love it that much, so we're going to change it today and show you how we did this. First we start with, I know this is going to shock some of you, but it's a piece of flooring, a piece of underlayment that you use when you are straightening up a floor. It's lightweight, thin, but flat and sturdy. The next thing we did was we took an old towel, one of those towels from your bathroom that isn't pretty anymore, but you just can't bear to throw away, and we took that and we measured it to the size of our board, cut it, just folded it over, it sits at the fold, and stitched up the sides, and we stitched the bottom. The bottom doesn't really have to be stitched, but it will ravel with some little fluffy things, so we went ahead and surged around the bottom. So then we put that on like a pillowcase. So there we go, you just slide that in. There you go. Now the next thing we do is measure our ironing board on your fabric so you know just how, how, big you, how big you need to make it and leave about a half an inch on each side. So we lay that on here, leave about a half an inch and just go ahead and cut that. We flip it inside out and sew down the side seams just an even little seam. Then we're going to turn that right side out and we're going to slide this over the top of the ironing board. This is a new fabric we have in the shop right now. It is um, by Henry Glass and it's just darling with little pin cushions and uh, spools of thread all over it and this is going to be available online really shortly. Really cute. Makes a cute ironing board cover. So then we take the, uh, the the, fab the fabric that we've sewn down the sides and we just slide it over and pull it on. And presto changeo, we have a new ironing board pad. These, works, these work great because there seems to be, when you use an ironing board, there seems to be a little give. And with this ironing pad, you can put it right on your counter. It's the same size as your cutting board mat, as most of the 24 inch cutting board mats. And so you can just take it with you in your bag when you go sewing, so you can have your own ironing board wherever you are. And it just works perfect for all those little pressing matters. Anyway, this is from the underpinnings of the Missouri Star Quilt Company. Now you know the secrets of our inner ironing board. Is, is underpinnings right? Underpinning. 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 Underpinnings sounds better.